morning to you. Good morning to you. Uh, I am Susan. Hi, good morning. I'm Susan. I'm a blue status presenter with Unique. I'm on day 14 of my 100 days of lives. It's going to be a long 100 days, people. Countdown. But, but, but at the end of it, I'm going to be in Punta Cana. What? I'm going to get my passport today. I'm so excited. Um, if you feel so inclined, please share my videos. I love it when you share me. Sharing is caring. If you see the <laughs> red live up there, we are live. Live from Columbia Falls. Yeah. Um, if it's not there, if you're watching the replay, which is totally awesome. I love it when you do that. And if you could comment replay so I can say hello, that'd be great. <sighs> coffee. Coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. What am I going to do today? I thought I would try some uh, pigments again today. I don't know, you think that green's going to go okay with me? I think it's going to. Going to make it work. Going to make it work. Got to find my primer. My primer, my primer. Primer, primer, primer. Oh my gosh, you guys. I spent, wow, way more time than I ever thought I was going to trying to find a flight to Punta Cana. It was awful. Well, it wasn't awful. I mean, it was sitting on the computer for two hours looking for flights that were going to get me there. So I didn't miss anything. Because it's four days. So I arrive on the, on the 19th, October 19. And then I leave on the 23rd. So that's four days, three nights. And... It's going to be great. I have $750 to spend there. Resort credit. So I can do like spas or uh, massages or get my nails done or I don't know. There's, I could swim with the dolphins. I could, what was one of the other things I saw? Oh my gosh. It was something really great and now I can't think of it something really great now I can't think of it but look I wanted to show you look good here's my flight itinerary there's like three flights down and three flights back one of the flights on the way back is overnight and here's my confirmed registration so excited you have no idea and then before that I get to go to New Orleans so excited about that I could remember to put my foundation where I could get it easily and not have to look at four bottles. I could get rid of the empty stuff. That would help. Why do I keep doing that today? I don't know. Um, just a little friendly reminder. When you're using a primer under your makeup, which is a great idea, um, there's a lot of benefits to using a primer, but let it sit for a couple minutes on your face so that when you put on your makeup, you're not just blending it into the primer because then it defeats the whole purpose of the primer. I use that time to shake my, my foundation and gather my other things that I need. Um, some people put it on and then go about, you know, brushing their teeth and uh, whatever. I'm not that patient. I do wait a minute or two, but um, I think I should wait longer. It's Friday. What do you got planned for the weekend? I got a friend moving to Montana from the Seattle area this weekend. I'm going to go help her. I have some shopping to do for my trip. <clears throat> I got a little froggy in my throat that won't go away. I don't like the little froggy. He won't go away. It's 
an annoying sound to me that <clears throat> I don't like it when other people do it. <clears throat> it's just irritating to me. And then I really hate it when I do it because then it's like, oh great, I'm irritating everybody. And I don't like it myself. So there's a little insight into Susan's head. <laughs> to get I have to make time before I go I have to make time to get these it's weird because they're kind of sparse in areas but then they get bushy in other areas like they grow way down underneath here I don't like that I don't need eyebrow bushy eyebrows I wish my eyelashes would oh my eyelashes I wish my eyelashes would grow like that long and thick you know what? I'm getting my eye serum today, and I am going to start using it, and you are going to see my lashes grow 29% longer. That's a lot for a lash, you think about it. If you're popping on, say hello. Let me know where you're from. Let me know where you're from. can't see. Um, if I miss your comments, you can throw a um, comment, a heart, or a like, or a little smiley face or something so that I know if comments are working. That'd be great. If you have a dog that you favor in your life, do a little doggy emoji. And if you'd like, post a picture of your dog. People love dogs. People love little doggy pictures. So the new serum, I'm getting it today according to the tracker, you know, the mail tracker. it today I'm so excited you can get it before because it doesn't release to the public for another couple of weeks but if you want it before then you can get it it's coming in the kit now <clears throat> so you get uh, it's like $400 worth of makeup for $99 and you get um, all three of the lash products the I don't have it yet so you get the lash serum you get the one Step Mascara, which I have seen some people using it, an OMG, I'm telling you, it's going to change your life. It's going to change my life. This looks a little pale to me, doesn't it? But it matches my neck. No. I don't know. Some days I'm just not feeling it, you know? I'm just not feeling it. You ever have days like that? Don't let my singing scare you away. Because it's not really singing, it's just la la lawing, right? Okay, so let's see what do we got here. Got a little bit of green. I'll put some green on. See how that's going to look. color. It's pretty light. I'm going to perk it up with some rose water. Spray a little bit on the back of my hand. And dip my brush in it. Get my brush a little bit damp. This. really 
actually made it a little bit better, didn't it? I'm hoping that this green will work and pull out the green in my eyes. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? I saw this tutorial, so I'm trying to, she's, it was watching this tutorial last night, and she talked about um, doing the colors, uh, you do like your transition here, which is the area between your crease and your brow, that's the transition, so you want to do a color there, and then do the lighter color on your lid. And that's, so that's what I'm trying today. And then a darker one in the crease so that it makes it pop. Poppity pop pop. So we'll see what happens. Ooh, I got too much in there. We'll see what happens. These loose pigments are great. I love them. I haven't used them a lot. Um, prior to this, I was kind of afraid of them, but since I've been playing with them, I'm really liking them. And you know, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not I got my sexy, Ooh, where's my sexy? Oh, I don't have my sexy out. Uh, 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 where's my sexy? Um, I'm gonna have to look for my sexy over there. I thought it was right here. One second, please. It. I found it. Here it is. I'm gonna use that um, right up here along my brow. Um, my appointment to get my picture taken for my passport is at 8:30, so I can take a little more time this morning with my makeup. So guess what I'm gonna do? Take a little more time with my makeup this morning. This one's really dark, so I'm going to use my sponge end and tap it in. Kind of in the little seven. Not too much, though. And then I'm going to blend. I think I should have been blending all along, but, you know, I don't do anything like I'm supposed to. Now to find my blender, my blender. This one I'm gonna use. La la la. Put a little bit of blue in it. Blend, 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 I'm going to use the dark on my eyebrows. Again, I'm going to get, well, I'm going to use it as a liner as well. Put a little bit on my hand. Get the brush a little bit damp. 
can get just a little bit on there. And I'm going to come along my lash line. What is that? Oh, what did I get on my face? my face. There's a sticker on here, no wonder. I need a whole makeup room. I need a makeup room. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of this dark. And I'm just going to see, I don't know, can you see, look at I have bald patches in my brow. So I'm going to start there. Fill those in and then, and then go for the rest of it. Usually when you do your brows, you want to stop with your eye. You don't want to come way down. Um, some people like to stop like here, but to me that just kind of, I like it to come down. And you want them to start. So start and finish, start and finish. And just do your little strokes. See what a difference that makes? short strokes I have really developed oh, I did it again how do I keep getting stuff on me I have it on my hands I must have it on my hands. And then I'm going to take sexy because this is really darker than my normal. I'm not taking sexy. I'm going to take this lighter brown here and go over it. Right in here. Kind of give it a little two tone. So it's not so dark. That's a little better. That's a little better. It'll be better. It'll be better in a minute. Take the sexy, sexy, sexy. And I'm going to put it up underneath my brow. I'm using the artist brush, which is available on my site, which I didn't put that in there, did I? Um, if you're interested in any of the products, they are available at SusanThrasher.com. If you would like to share me, I'd love it if you shared me. Um, I push sexy right up underneath my brow. Um, it helps to add it, a little bit more sculpted look to it. And um, give me a, just a little bit of highlight underneath there. It's just a simple way to do it. Simple way to do it. Get rid of this smudgy over here. Now I have to fix because I got a little bit sloppy. The great thing is you can always fix a mistake, right? Put a little bit on the end of here.
clean up any mistakes with a little bit of concealer. Fix the mistakes. So it's good. You don't have to be perfect with it. Just do your best and you can fix the mistakes. And then blend the edge. I'm taking a lot of extra time today. I don't usually spend this much time in the morning, but I have, um, I have an appointment at 8.30, so I have a little bit of time. A little bit of extra time. So I'm using it to my full advantage. Okay, I hate when I get little hairs. I'm going to give myself a little less chin, a little less double chin, that is. <laughs> Blend it down. brushes I'll do double duty. Some of them do triple duty. Good morning, good morning to you. There's something tickling me by my eye. I don't know what it is. I just know that it's tickling me. to keep my mascara. Can't wait to keep my mascara. I don't know, is that pulling the green out of my eye? I kind of looks kind of good. morning I'm doing something different. I am putting on a coat of the gel and I am getting it up by my eyebrow which is not what I wanted. Putting on a coat of the gel and then I'm going to let it sit for just a minute. I have the shortest tiniest little lashes over here. Let's sit for a minute. I am going to um, going to use what color? What color lip am I gonna do? That won't really go with it.
that got warm. You have to be careful with your lipsticks. Oh, this is a good color. Um, you have to be careful with your lipsticks in the summer. Uh, they get hot, and then they get melty, and then they tend to move around in their little containers. Make a mess. I usually keep mine in the fridge. Keep some nice and firm. Ours are pretty soft. Um, they don't have a lot of waxy additives to them, so they're a softer, they go on soft and smooth and like a buttery, oh, it's just lovely. It's like creamy. Feels good going on. It's a good match for today. So my mascara's been on there, the gel, just the gel. So now I'm going to do the gel fiber gel, and we're going to see how it looks. I think it's going to, I think it's going to be really great. When you're doing the gel fiber gel, do one, do not, don't pump. When you pump, you clump. So you swirl it. Because you don't want to pump air in there, air dries it out, and also gets it clumpy on your wand. So, get some gel on my lashes, some fibers. Well, bam, now we have some lashes. When I look up like this, it reminds me of like doe eyes. You know, like when little kids are looking at you and they, they ask you for something that they know they shouldn't be having and they go, but please, mama, and they give you those eyes. That's what it reminds me of. Of course, I don't have my glasses on, so I don't really see... Fibers. I'm going to be like sitting at the mailbox waiting for them to come today. If I didn't have to go to my day job, that's definitely what I'm doing. Okay, so now I've got the gel fiber. I'm going to set the fibers and I'm going to curl my lashes. The new mascara they're coming out with, it's a one step. There's no fibers. Um, it's got a brush. I've heard. I haven't seen it yet. So this is all stuff I've heard from gals that like just got theirs in the past couple of days. Um, the brush really grips your lashes and it really helps to curl them. The mascara curls them really well. And they get really long. I've seen pictures when you do multiple coats. Um, what some of them have been doing is uh, using it underneath. They'll put a coat of that on and then they'll put on uh, the fiber lash and that's given great results too. So I'm anxious, anxious to try it. Dang it, I am like sloppy today.
faces we make when we're doing a <laughs> when we're doing our makeup. Um, if you know anybody that you think would be interested in um, an opportunity to uh, make some extra money, um, build some wonderful friendships and uh, possibly take trips around the world, then please send them my direction. <clears throat> okay. I think that's got it. I think that's got it. So I'm going to do a little spritzy with my setting spray. Try to get it all over my face. Oh, that feels so good going on. Um, should I go with orange, orange? Yes. Yes, I think I will. And I'm going to redo my hair a little bit. I have plenty of time to get to the post office. Plenty of time. Well, I think that's got it. What do you think? A little bit of hairspray and I am good to go. Sometimes I do a little teasy, a little, there we go. Give it a little, oh, you can finger tease your hair. It's much better than using a comb. Combs just beat the crap out of it. Just give a little finger tease and I'm good to go. Alrighty, so I hope that you will come and join me again later so I can show you about uh, the new mascara products, the new eye products. I'm so excited. Um, I want you, I want to thank you for joining me this morning and I want you to have a blessed day. Remember to be kind to you. Be kind to everyone you meet. Share your smile because you can't be mad or sad when you're smiling. And just have a wonderful, blessed day. Love you.